Okay. Hi, this is Lucas from Kenneth. Far away. Far away? And what are we going to do? Then We're going to die some you yucky yard. Daddy upstairs putting wire to bed. Oh, and so what are you going to do with Mommy? Die some yippee yucky yarn Hooray! <laughs> okay. I pre-soaked Lucas's yarn in some plain tap water with two to three tablespoons of white vinegar. What do you think this is? Paint. Careful, put it back. That's actually food coloring. You know who was dyeing yarn earlier today? Who? Ryder. And now it's me. And now it's your turn. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes, and I'm gonna go get my socks. <laughs> All right, so we have two colors today. We have purple, and I'll try using this and try dabbing. Now dab, so you go do a big dab like that. And in a different spot. What colors do you see? I guess stuck. Okay. Well, you don't need to stick it in there. That was just in there to store it. And here's some. Mm. Yep, so carefully dab. Don't squeeze. Because if you squeeze, too much comes out. So just dab. Okay? What do you think? Luke? Good Jurassic, Jurassic time period. <laughs> I was just making up a joke. You're just making up a joke? Okay, remember, don't squeeze, just dab. If you squeeze, that might make a mess. And don't forget, you want to get a color all the way over. <laughs> do you over there. And some awesome sun going over there. Terrific, terrific, terrific time period pokes. <laughs> I guess making that a joke. Let's get my up so far. There's no batteries in here. Here, you want me to help you? Yes. Here, look. Okay. I'll help you push. Whoa. You move it and I'll help you push. Where do you want it to go? Wait. Okay, yep. There. Yeah. Squeeze a little bit as you push down. And with this one, boop. it doesn't need to touch. Okay, but remember, you can leave it upside down like this and just. Oh, see, it's dripping. Better dab. Dab. Yeah. Why do we have? Why do we have to know that it's dripping? We need a. This is 
really pretty yarn, Luke. Thanks. I have an idea for the your next birthday. We can make this to be your next tie. Will oh. You? Oh, I think it's for me. Oh, it's for you? Yes. So, yeah, so what's your favorite way to add dye to yarn, Lucas? Did you use sprinkles? You like sprinkles best? So are you going to use up all the dye, or do you want to be done? I want to use up all the dye. Okay. So I have to find all the white spots, and then dab it, and stab it with this paint. Cool. I call it paint. That way I do it. It's going to get empty. Yeah. So you <laughs> Lucas, this yarn is really beautiful. Thanks. It's like purple, right? I love purple. So there was purple painted on me on it. Oh, <laughs> Mommy, sometimes I want to try dyeing my hair. Okay, but we're not doing it with food coloring. There are special kind of dyes. And how do Oh, Lucas, you're wearing this inside out. You want to wear it like this. He put the small gun inside out. It's okay. Just keep... Are you Are you done? I think you're done. No, I'm not done. There's still so right here, right here. This side. I want to get all those parts that are white. Okay. And turn them different... Just like my hand is different. All the wait, it's all this cover. So, okay, careful. All right, there's a little left. Where do you want your last dabs to go? All right, it's all gone. Yay! My yarn's all finished and dry. No. Okay. Somehow the dyer Lucas ended up being totally clean, and yet the helper Mommy. Ended up green. <laughs> oh well. That's because your fingers got green. That's because my fingers got green, yeah. That, that's exactly. When will they turn back to normal color? Oh, I'll just have to wash my hands a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh dear. There's a lot of dye in that section. I better get a plate. Moni actually has a special kind of soap that will help her. All right. Now we are going to wipe up the little bit of dye that got on the counter. Perfect. All right. Now that this is in a bowl, I am going to heat it on high in the microwave for a total of four minutes in two minute increments. For comparison's sake, here is Lucas's yarn that just came out of the microwave. And you can see that there was so much dye that some leaked out here at the bottom. Whereas Ryder's yarn does not have nearly as much color. This one's already cool, I just haven't had a chance to wash it yet. So now I'm gonna let this yarn cool completely and then we will wash it and hang it up to dry. I am ready to wash Lucas's yarn, which does have some color that leaked out of the bottom of it. Probably because he added so much food coloring to that one section. Eek. All right. 
trying to avoid getting drips all over my house and turning my hands greener than they already are. It's funny how teal the rinse water is, especially given that this is more of a bright green. I know that there's some blue in the end. This is just some clear liquid dish soap, but yeah, besides that initial runoff, um, the water is very, very clear. I'm going to keep rinsing this, and I guess I'll need to rinse it a couple times because there's a slight, slight amount of color in here, but I'll rinse it a handful more times, and then when the water is completely clear, like that now, <laughs> and I removed all the soap, I will hang up the yarn to dry. At this point, Lucas is almost a pro dyer. He knows what he's doing and he loves milking it for all that it's worth. I am really, really excited that he wanted to use up all of the dye to make this really pretty garden of a yarn. But I'm especially excited to have his yarn in conjunction with the yarn that Ryder made. So now I have a coordinating set that I can turn into something special for myself and have this big brother and little brother combo set of yarns. Soon I will show Lucas his yarn and you'll be able to see his reaction. So, so I about the whole money y'all. It's a Jurassic time period. It's a dinosaur that lives in the Jurassic. Dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, where is it? Oh, oh. Here is your yarn. Ooh. This is my fantastic Jurassic Jurassic time period poke. Yeah, what do you I like a rope, you know that. <laughs> so what do you think of your yarn? Good. I think tomorrow we should do a I think the day I think Thursday we should do a chemist video. Oh, what makes you say that? Well because I like my yippee yaki you see ya. So you like making chemist videos with mama? Yes, so please let's So tell me about the colors in your yarn. So I use some um, a lot of long green and lots of purple is in summer sex. And I use lot in summer sex and two and the both hats. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you can you sign off? Can you say goodbye? Bye. See you next time. Well, and, th and thank you for watching my Kenneth Young video made from lots and lots of seeds for flowers and bases too and leaves. And all other things. Okay, well, we didn't use any of that, but we did dye some 100% wool yarn with food coloring. And okay. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz. And here's Lucas that lives well in San Francisco. Uh, all right. Goodbye. Goodbye.